Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Mark Fullerton, a 35-year-old man who has vanished in Missouri. He's been missing for over six months now. And when I say missing, he's not just missing. Somebody has taken him. Somebody has done something with this man. He would not leave his life the way he has. He has two sons. He has parents. He has family that love him. He talked to his mom and dad on a daily basis on the phone. And he had been sharing with family members prior to his disappearance that he was in a bad place in his relationship with his girlfriend and that he was planning on leaving her. Now, June 3rd, 2020 is the last time anyone had contact with him. And on that day, he went to the dentist and I believe he had some teeth pulled. And the following day in the late afternoon, his girlfriend called his mom up and said that Mark was missing. Now, the girlfriend's story is sketchy, to say the least. The girlfriend claims that she and Mark were sleeping in bed and that Mark was not feeling well after having had his dental work done. And I believe he had uh, his teeth pulled and dentures put in on the same day. And before anyone gets off on the wrong track on that mark was not into drugs anyway girlfriend says that mark sat up and threw up in the bed and he threw up on her so she says she got up and she went into the bathroom and got sick herself and was in there quite some time And that when she came back out of the bathroom, Mark wasn't in the house and that she assumed that he went to his grandfather's house and that at some point she went back to bed that afternoon and I guess slept all night and the next day Mark was still gone. You know, she's used his truck, which he left there. Um, She apparently just did not seem that concerned, which is really, really off to everyone. For one thing, Mark was said to be wearing just a pair of shorts and his grandfather's house was over two miles away on gravel roads. He left his truck behind, he left his keys behind, he left his wallet, he left his glasses, and he left his shoes. So we're supposed to believe that this guy left barefoot to walk on gravel two hours before dark and that he would leave his identification everything behind while being so ill that he threw up in bed doesn't really make a lot of sense there still is no information regarding where mark is the family is calling for anyone who knows anything to come forward and they would like people to know that oftentimes the first person to speak in a case uh, gets a lighter sentence than anyone else and also I have noticed a heartbreaking post by Mark's parents possibly his mom um On December 6th, she posted in the Where is Mark Fullerton Facebook group, and it says, We are waiting for the right people to bring our boy home, because if it was earthly possible, Mark would have come home by now. He talked to his mother and father daily. He is not missing. He has been taken. And, you know, this story just totally is breaking my heart. He's got two little boys and one of his sons 
also has posted on Facebook and keeps posting on Facebook wanting somebody to come forward, wanting his dad back, saying he misses his daddy. You know, it's really hard to think of this family not having any answers and when it's obviously such suspicious circumstances he wouldn't leave his truck he wouldn't leave his wallet he wouldn't leave his glasses he wouldn't go walking off without his shoes he wouldn't leave wearing just a little pair of shorts i am not sure whether this is correct or not but i have seen other accounts of this that also say that some of his dentures were left behind you know that that wouldn't happen voluntarily and I have also seen it stated that the necklace that he always wore was found broken laying on the floor of the girlfriend's house and this is a necklace that was precious to him so it's highly unlikely that even if it had accidentally broken, it's highly unlikely that he wouldn't have picked it up and taken it with him if he left of his own free will. Uh, I've also noticed another post that they shared his family, uh, and it's a quote by Mark Schultz, and it says, I'm unwrapping all these memories, fighting back the tears. It's just a different kind of Christmas this year. Mark Randall Fullerton is 35 years old. He's 5 foot 11. He weighs 150 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. He's got uh, full skull tattoos on both of his arms. He usually wears skull rings on his fingers. Please, if you know anything, about what happened to Mark Fullerton, where Mark Fullerton is. Please come forward. Let this family have some peace. Let them find out what happened to Mark and let them bring him home. Thank you for watching Another Day in the Car with Jules.